I'm Sophia Soto with the Nerds of Color. Huge fan of the show, huge fan of yours. Thank you for taking the time today. Of course, thank you. Of course. So first of all, I want to ask what your reaction was when you found out that you were renewed for a second season. Oh man, I was so excited. I, I woke up, I had slept in late and when I woke up, I think one of the first things that I did was check Twitter and I had like a ton of notifications. that was just like, Ainsley, wake up and you got, <laughs> you got picked up for season two. We know you're asleep still, but get up. Um, so I, I had, I had in fact slept through it, but then I, I got to call my reps and talk to them about it. And I was just so excited. And 22 episodes is so many episodes compared to eight. Um, which was a real, a real trip and still doesn't quite feel real. And what was it like for you returning to set to film like that first day when you, when you got back? Oh, it felt so good. I was so happy to be back. I had a great little summer break. I got to go home to North Carolina to see my family, but I was really, I was really anticipating getting back to work and seeing everyone again and was really looking forward to seeing um how season one was going to be different from the new season what what new stories we were going to bring in how we were going to wrap up the end of season one so just a lot of excitement on my end back a little bit to when you first got the role what did it feel like for you joining the law and order franchise because oh my gosh like had you been a fan previously what what were you feeling yeah i I have, I have been a big fan of the show for a long time. And I remember getting the email with all of the, the details for the audition and and reading it and being like, Oh, huh, this would, this would be cool. But I didn't want to put too much on it um, in case nothing happened. But I, I taped it and I sent it in and I got a call like a week later that was like, Hey, so you're moving to New York in like three days. And I feel like after the last episode of the first season was really the first chance that I got in New York to kind of take a breath and sit down and, and really process that this is happening. This is my life. Now I'm on, I'm a part of the universe of one of my favorite shows of all time. And it's real. You're not going to wake up in two years and realize that it's all been, you've been in a coma this whole time, you know, like it's, this is your real life now. Um, And it's so amazing to get to work with Chris. And I, I've only had the absolute pleasure of working with Mariska once, but uh, Danielle working with, Guillermo as well people who I have watched on my tv for so long now getting to work with them and I know they say don't meet your heroes but meet your heroes because sometimes they do turn out to be really really great people (laughs) and and you let us into our next question perfectly because I love when you guys get to do those crossovers what is that like for for your cast and then also what can you tease about maybe some crossovers in season two Yeah. It's always so much fun for our cast, I think, to do the crossovers and and we're getting to do a lot more this season since our, our, since season two spans a lot more time than season one. I feel like we had to really get a lot of stuff in there for the eight episodes that we had. And now we have a lot more time to kind of draw things out over the course of the season. Um, And the crossovers are fantastic. I think the only one that I've been in so far has been, I I think it was maybe episode four of the first season, but that was the first time that I got to work with Mariska and Chris together and witness them working together in the same room. And even just from that one pretty short day, I feel like I learned so much about um, why this show has persevered over time and why the following of it is so intense and why it's so beloved. And it's because the two people at the helm are 
people who deeply, deeply love and respect one another. And that's something that I have such admiration for. Can you sort of preview for us about your character in season two? What can you, what can you give to tease fans on the edge of their seat as always? <laughs> um, something that has been really f- fresh for me in season two has been the aspect of getting out from behind the desk and going into the field and doing some actual work. Uh, not that what Jet does isn't work because it definitely, she works hard, <laughs> but getting to leave the house every once in a while. Um, I still do have moments where I sit back at the computer because I think Jed has to recharge social interaction, not her favorite thing. And I got to be honest, not always my favorite thing, but something that I've really, really loved this season has been getting to go outside and explore a different side of Jet that is, I think, equally badass equally cool in a very different way than how we are used to seeing her and something else that I'm really excited about is you know new characters coming into the second season and coming into specifically Jet's life and watching her figure out how to maneuver those relationships and how to interact with these people in a professional capacity and in a in a friendly capacity have you sort of learned from jet as a character i have to imagine you know you give a little of yourself to her and she gives a little back yeah i love jet so much um it i mean i i have i have so much love for her as a character it's it's emotional sometimes um i think something that i am still learning from Jet every day is this idea of knowing that you are incredibly good at your job, knowing that you deserve to be where you are, and knowing that you you have what it takes. Something something that Every day is very interesting for me to come up against in acting her is I th- my tendency is is often to to doubt or the first instinct is to get a little bit neurotic. And it's always a, such a huge relief when when the director can come up to me and say, just remind me like, hey, she she's really good at this. This is like this is not the stuff in her life that she's sweating. The work stuff is not what is the conflict for her. I think so much of what is the conflict for Jet as a character within the show is that she has to figure out how to work with other people. She's very good at her job and she's incredibly confident and she never, she doesn't pull her punches. And that's something that I'm really trying to take with me much it was such a pleasure to speak with you have a great you too congrats on the new season thank you